Hello YouTube, this is going to be a video of my 2001 um, Tomos or Tomos Sprint scooter, 50cc scooter. It reminds me of a uh, an older late 1960s, early 80s Honda PC50 or Yamaha Champ, something of that sort. But this made 2001. It's made in Slovakia, and um, it's okay scooter. The person before me did some damage to it, he painted it uh, with spray paint, black and red, all over, didn't do a good job, but uh, originally it was like a dark green color. The other damage is he lost that panel, that red panel that covered the carburetor there, besides for the carburetor choke, and the uh, speedometer cable broke inside so I took it out, but it just has a little over 4,000 original kilometers on it. But uh, yeah, that's about 10 or 12 more than that right now. So it's still in pretty good condition. Still has 160 PSI compression. I was considering put a 70cc head on this, but it's a chain drive two speed automatic transmission. So first speed engages at 15 kilometers, it switches to second, and then it goes on second up to about 55 kilometers an hour. And if I put a 70, I don't know what it's going to do to that transmission because it's not a belt drive. It's a two-speed automatic gear-driven unit in that box over there. So let me give you a start. Oh, another thing I don't like it about this one. There's no key for it. So, and the, yeah, the blinkers is no, not like a push button off. It's exactly in the middle is where the blinkers are off. There's no key, so I use this chain and a regular lock to uh, lock the wheel in the back. Um, the electronics, besides for the headlight, the blinkers, the horn, everything. They only work if the engine's idling at a certain speed, and because I think the wires are old, you need the engine to be idling very fast, the wheel to be spinning already for it to, lights to work, so the blinkers don't always work when it's idling and just sitting there. So let me give you a start for you. So we put the switch on, Take start out, push down a little, and uh, that's a warm start. Okay, so I have idling at this speed just so it does work. When you go on the ground, it doesn't give away on you. It just holds this place. So it's idling too fast. I adjusted the brakes. The brakes are uh, plastic on this piece of garbage, but they work perfectly. They work pretty okay. But they're like bicycle brakes. Plastic. They don't even have a twist to adjust on the drum. Your drum front and rear. But it's uh, just a regular tank of going through. Not like a bicycle, but uh, yeah, let's go around the back. It's pretty sweet sounding bike, actually. Yeah, you spray painted that muffler and everything. You got these two pegs for your feet, one of them I think is a little bent, but whatever, doesn't matter. So, the gas tank is here. The previous owner must have had a poop or something before because that's probably not the original gas cap on it. There's an oil tank under the seat, which you open by it's uh, oil injected oil injection is still working fine on this because it drove it around, I said, for about 12 kilometers a little more already and the oil injection is working and I was nice, and if I rev it up a little so I can show you the blinkers or the horn and the blinkers very slow and the other side blinkers no sound, nothing. And the front, they have a modified headlight. So it's a pretty good headlight actually at night. But when you switch to high beam, it doesn't have high beam on it. The high beam light comes on. But there's no light. And then we have a low beam. Uh, not low beam, we have an oil ejector light which is broken. It's missing right there. And the gauge is lighted. But I filled up with oil, so I know the level. It's a pretty nice scooter. And I got it for a good price. I'm going to be selling it for about 500 bucks. Goes about 55 kilometers an hour in the city. Still okay speed. Dual front coil over shocks, like a bike. With 150 milli... No, I think it's 100 millimeters of travel. And in the back, there's also a double coil shock. Not a single one. Made in Slovakia. Uh, seems to be a good machine. It has a Delordo carburetor. 
Giorno, it's a uh, brand, and it's got an 835 engine on it, so good machine. You want to make a movie videos? Comment below.